everyone welcome back to my channel um in today's video we're gonna do a little to chat get ready with me a little bit of transformation because i mean this is how i woke up um this is like my natural hair i mean it's not too bad i'm not um complaining about it um but you know it, it it definitely could be better um let's do our hair do my makeup um and yeah let's just get straight i'm just gonna um clip my hair back with this little hairband this little hairband is just from primark um it's got like lovely little pearls on i look like an egg actually you know what i do look like i look like a spaniel it's like little spaniel's ears first thing first um i've literally just um washed my face um, I haven't put anything on my face yet. Um, I wash my face with a cleanser. Um, the cleanser that I use is this one from Superdrug. Um, this is the Naturally Radiant um, Refreshing Complete Cleanser. Um, this is my favourite cleanser ever. Actually, the whole makeup range is my absolute favourite. Um, so, yeah, so I use that to cleanse my face. So I usually alternate between these two products. Um, this one is the brightening day cream um, and this one is brightening radiance balm and um, they're both pretty similar to be fair I use either of them like as a, a moisturizer so um, today I'm going to use the brightening radiance balm so Um, next I'll go in with a primer now I got this primer in a glossy box um, and I can't recommend it enough um, I personally wouldn't pay the price for it because I'm pretty sure it's £80 for this um, but it is really good um, this is the Avant Pro Collagen and then it's just got loads of random words that I don't know how to say um, but it's Pro Perfecting Collagen Primer Moving on to foundation, today I am going to use the same foundation that I always use. Well, actually, I use a couple of different foundations, um, but if I'm going to go out or if I want my makeup to last for a long time, um, the makeup that, the found, sorry, the foundation that I use um, is from The Ordinary. Um, I've literally told every single one of my friends about this foundation, like, if you don't have it, you need it it's six pound and it is the best foundation that i've ever used Um, i was always a mac studio fix fluid gal for can't tell you how many years um it's like what 24 pound or something now this six pound i promise you you will not regret it there are so many shades like so many shades there's neutral shades there's cool shades and um, there's literally the shade chart is unbelievable and um, the only slight downside is it's mostly online now I'm not 100% sure but I'm pretty sure I've seen it in John Lewis if not I get mine off ASOS if it's in stock which it very rarely is and um, I'll always order a bottle just in case also get it on Beauty Bay and I think called Beauty as well Personally, I wouldn't say it was like really high coverage, like I stay loaded or double wear high coverage. I would say it was more like a medium coverage, but it's definitely buildable to high coverage. I'm currently using 2.0N and that is light, medium, neutral. Um, and I only, um, I used to only really use this if I was a little bit tanned. I have got a little bit of gradual tan on, which you probably can't really tell. Um, but if I'm completely tan free, um, I also have another shade which is 1.2N which is light neutral as well. Um, but today I'll go with the 2.0N. So use my Morphe brush now, excuse the state of my brushes, I do need to clean my brushes but um, we just haven't got around to doing that yet. So this is the Morphe M442 brush. Um, I use this to put my foundation on all the time. It's a very um, dense brush. 
um, which I like and it's like a stippling type brush which I also like. I'm not really a um, flat brush type of gal and it just blends like so easily as well like uh, for £6 like you just can't you can't go wrong. Um, so how is everyone? Um, we're now in 2020 which is very exciting. Um, I'm actually off work on holiday at the moment so I've got like so much planned um like YouTube wise um I want to like I want I need, I've got so many ideas of videos that I want to film um it's just getting around to film them film them it's just getting around to filming them all um but I really I'm really starting to enjoy filming um when I first um started my YouTube channel so it wasn't that long ago like it was about a few months ago, maybe, um, that I started my YouTube channel and the response that I've had from it is just, it's been a little bit overwhelming, you know. Um, it was one of those things where um, I started my blog, um, love blogging, still love blogging. I actually really miss blogging now that I've stopped doing my blog. Um, I was saying to one of my friends yesterday, like, I actually really miss just sitting down with my laptop and just typing like just typing away it's almost like a little bit of a release um but yeah so i um do really miss blogging um but i thought i oh, i was thinking about starting a youtube channel for years like literally years i've always watched youtube i've always been a big youtube fan um and I was going to start my own channel and then I just never got around to it and I just didn't have the confidence to do so and then after I started blogging I just thought you know what fuck it like literally fuck it I'm just going to do it and see what happens and the first video that I posted like I was so scared um I can't even tell you like it took us at least an hour just to fill in the intro like just the intro because I just was so scared I didn't really know how to talk to a camera um or anything like that really so um it was very daunting um very scary um but once I had done it I was like oh my god like I love this um I love just being able to sit down and just talk to the camera and just share things and I feel like I've made like so many new friends like just through like my instagram and stuff like it's really brought me out as a person like i i've always been a very chatty person um but i've never put myself out there and i feel like i really am now and i think it's really good for us to do so um it really has brought me out as a person so i'm really happy with that um, next up for concealer is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. It is so cheap. I think it's like £4. I use the shade C3, um, which is quite light, but it's light enough for me. I know I look a little bit crazy right now but I've just I put some under my eyes I put quite a lot under my eyes because I've got really deep circles like I've got really like deep set under eyes <clears throat> so I always look tired even when I'm not um I put some on my chin a little bit just above my cupid's bow down my nose and then a little bit on my forehead and I'm going to use this brush which is also from Morphe this is another like little stippling type brush but just like a mini version so I'm just going to pack that all in See how that just like brightens up that one side there. See how that just highlights like certain parts of my face. I know I look a little bit crazy, I look a little bit white. 
come is a little bit cold yeah next i'm going to go in with a powder um i don't really have um a powder that i necessarily love um i never really seem to find one that i love but the one that i'm, I'm using at the moment this is quite battered but this is the maybelline superstay 16 hour or something i think it's called um this is the waterproof matte powder up to 16 hour wear and i wear this in number 10 which is the shade ivory um and i'm just going to get a big brush this is from real techniques and it's just like a big powder brush um i don't think real techniques have numbers on but it just says powder brush on the back so I'm just going to get some of that and I'm just going to pop that all over just to set everything in place. Like so. God, I look really crazy. I don't know if it's like the lighting or like the ring light, but I look so white. Like, boom. Hello. Um. Right. So next up contouring um but for bronzer the palette that i've been loving at the moment and for quite a while uh, is this little gem from sleek it's one of like the little trio palettes um and this is the face form contouring and blush palette now i'm pretty sure one of my friends Gemma, i think it is Gemma, if you're watching um this was recommended to me from her it's so cheap as well i'm pretty sure it's like eight pound it might even be five pound i can't remember i did get this one in a glossy box as well but i have purchased it myself before um but it has this bronzing shade which as you can see i've hit pan um it also has this highlight shade and it also has a blush shade um i'll just swatch the highlight shade for you oh you can see it on my finger there though how pretty is that um, this is great for like traveling and stuff and um, so i really recommend this um i don't know if it is a certain shade or it does say fit number fair number fair it does say fair number 372 in the corner there um but yeah fab little palette highly recommend that so i'm just gonna use this, this one from morphe again this doesn't have like a number on but it's just like a small version of a powder brush um, so I'm just going to go in with that bronze and shade um, and I'm just going to just underneath the apples of my cheeks just go in with a little bit of bronzer just to warm up my face slightly and just like contour my face slightly if you would like to say. Um, so I'm just going to go in with that. put it around the jawline um i have real issues with my jaw it's one of the things that i really hate um i just feel like i don't have a jawline i just kind of go like i can't describe what it is but yeah um not a fan um so i do like to put it underneath my jawline as well just to contour a little bit um just put a little more on. and then i'm just gonna put a little bit down the sides of my nose just to contour my nose a little bit so it doesn't look so pale because remember we'll put that concealer on um, to highlight it a little bit so I'm just going to put a bit of bronzer down there just to highlight um, just to highlight just to contour my next up I'm going to use blush um, for blush I'm going to use this real techniques brush this is a contour brush um from real techniques what is that fluff I'm just gonna dip that in there now you really don't need a lot um as you can see compared to the bronze i've still pretty much got a full pan um you really don't need a lot because it is quite pigmented Um, I'm then going to go in with some highlight. Now to highlight um, at the moment I'm just using this little brush. This is actually an eyeshadow brush from Morphe but it's like a big eyeshadow brush. 
Um, I'm just going to go in. For a going out highlight, I love um, Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics and Iconic Highlighter Drops as well, the original colour. Love those. Um, I will pop some highlight underneath my brow bone once I've done my brows. Um, but that is face highlight. Oh, I haven't done my Cupid's Ball. Let's pop a little bit on the Cupid's Ball. Like so. smashing okay, next we are going to go for eyebrows now I get my eyebrows threaded and tinted because I have naturally ginger hair so naturally I have ginger eyebrows it's not a cute look um I don't recommend having ginger eyebrows um if you do I mean no offense I've got them as well but um I personally like to get mine tinted brown um, for eyebrow, I've been really enjoying this eyebrow pencil from Makeup Revolution. Um, my all-time favourite eyebrow pencil is from NYX, um, but I don't actually have any left, um, and I've just threw it out. Um, but it's NYX, I think it's like a three-in-one pencil. Um, it's got like an eyebrow crayon on one side, um, a, like a setting eyebrow setting gel on the other side and then in the middle it's got like a brow bone highlight absolute favorite again that was recommended from my friend Gemma when we went on holiday to Spain um but a good little dupe for that one is this one from Makeup Revolution it has a little um eyebrow comb on one side um and it also has a crayon on the other side but I'm just gonna go in and brush through my eyebrows and then I go back in with a brush um, and just um, even even them out again sometimes when you put like the crayon through them it like pushes the hair certain ways so I like to just go in with a brush and just make sure they're all like fanned out and wispy and lovely so that's brows done for eyeshadow today I'm going to use Urban Decay The Naked 3 it's quite an old palette um, but it honestly it's my favourite. It's got the nicest colours. Um, one of them has, I've used, um, but these are the colours. Sorry at how disgusting that looks. Um, you can tell that I use it quite often. Um, but these are the colours. Um, how beautiful are those colours? They're so warm, neutral. I go in with this eyeshadow brush this is from morphe and um, all of these white morphe ones came in a set so they don't have numbers or anything on but it's just a standard eye eyeshadow brush um, i'm going to go in with the color nuna um, this um, and i'm just gonna pop that all over the lid in the crease Does anyone have any um, goals for 2020? Anything that they would like to share? Um, leave us a comment if you do. Um, personally for me, um, my biggest goal for this year is to work on my YouTube channel. Um, I started off, um, I did, I've done really well. I'm gonna say I did, I was still in the present time. 
Um, I've done really well with my YouTube channel, but I really want to put a lot of focus, a lot of time and a lot of effort into it this year. Um, and really grow my channel um, as much travelling as I can this year. Um, I love travelling. Um, I've already been to quite a lot of places. I'm very lucky that I've been to some of the places that I have. Um, but obviously I never documented any of that. None of that was ever um, vlogged. Um, I didn't have a YouTube channel then so I didn't vlog any of that. But I've got pictures and stuff but it's not the same is it really. Um, but when I went to um, Edinburgh a couple of weeks ago, um, even though that's only like an hour, an hour and a bit away from where I live, um, I loved vlogging that. I had so much fun. Um, shout out to my friend Angela because she was the ultimate little side hustle. She was taking pictures of it, she was filming me. Um, she was helping us so much with the vlog, so thank you very much for that. You are the best. Um, but I just, I've got so much um, that I want to film and I just, I really enjoy vlogging. I love watching the vlogs back. I really enjoy myself this year. Um, last year was, um, if you follow my Instagram, um, I'm just going to put some of that same colour on my lash line. Um, and I'm just going to use this little small brush to do so. Um, I posted a photo in the new year um, of everything that I achieved last year. Um, it was a big year for me. Um, I overcame a lot of things. Um, I really pushed myself last year um, to be the best version of myself. And I feel like going into 2020... Um, I'm feeling really positive, I'm feeling really happy, um, I'm happy in myself, um, clear headspace, um, I feel like I can achieve so much more this year, being a place where I don't feel like my mental health is stricken from doing anything, um, I can't even talk about because I'll start crying but I'm in a really good place at the moment and I think this year is going to be a big year for me. Um, I'm going to do my absolute best to succeed with my YouTube channel. I want to have a channel where people can come to and can just sit down with a cup of tea and just chill and just watch my videos and just be excited about it. So really excited for this year um, and I can't wait to see what else is coming. Grab that sleek palette again. Um, and I'm going to put some of the highlight in my inner corners and underneath my eyebrow. To do so, I am going to use this um, eyeshadow brush. This eyeshadow brush is actually from Wilkinson's and it's one of my favourite eyeshadow brushes. I don't know how if I accompanied this eyeshadow brush. I can't remember buying this eyeshadow brush, but I obviously did and I really like it. Um, it's a dual smoky eye eyeshadow brush. One side is um, angled. Um, and the other side is very dense to be able to like really buff it out. Um, I'm going to use the really small side here and I'm just going to dip that into the highlight. Um, and I'm just going to pop that underneath the brow bone. So, so that's it for eyeshadow. Um, next up, we are going to go in with some mascara. If you are a little bit of an OG and read my blog, you will know that this is my favourite mascara. This is a very old mascara. It is the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. anyone else find yourself like this when you do your new mascara or was it just me literally every time i go to do mascara even sometimes i'm going to work um i get the metro into work um and i'll be on the metro doing my mascara if i'm running late and i'm like without even realizing some eyelashes on <coughs> 
which eyelashes am I going to use? Now, these eyelashes I've already used. Um, I keep all of my eyelashes in this little pack from MAC. Um, but the lashes that I'm going to use today are just from Primark. Um, if you are a lash gal in Primark, you will know the Sultry Lashes, the purple pack. Unreal. Um, so I'm going to use a pair of Sultry Lashes today. Um, the eyeshadow glue, eyeshadow, can I talk today? The eyelash glue that I'm going to use is from Duo. This is the black one. my lashes on um i'll just see if i can show you a little bit um excuse the i've still got a little bit of lash glue um now i'm just i'd just like to go back in with um this little tiny eyeshadow brush um and the urban decay palette um, and i just like to go along the bottom lash line and just fill it in a little bit more just blend it out just make it a little bit more smoky lips so I, this is the um inglot liner and um, this is the fm lip liner i believe it's called um, and this is in the shade eight number eight five four is the volumizing lip gloss i'm um, in the shade dark and stormy Proper bad bitch vibes. Right. To finish, we're just gonna go with good old Mac Fix Plus. Um, this is just the original one. Um, I just pop that. <sighs> All over my face, and that is it. Okay, so for hair, I'm just we're just gonna be really simple nothing too fancy schmancy bring the hair forward and I'm using um, some DHDs, these are rose gold ones I've had for a while um, and I'm just going to run a strain as through my hair. Okay, so I've just um, quickly blasted through and straightened my hair, um, but then I've got like a um, like a hot brush, um, which I like to go over and just give my hair like the tiniest little bit of curl. Look how red my ear is. Does that mean someone's talking about you? Or is that just because I've just straightened my hair and I'm hot? Could be either. Okay, so this is the um, hot brush that I use, and um, this is from Babyliss. Um, I did have one from Tresemme, I think, and that was my favourite, um, but it melted in my hair whilst I was doing my hair. So we didn't repurchase that, um, but this one is from Babyliss, and you just literally, you might not be able to hear very well, but um, but you just turn it on um, and you just put your hair, wrap your hair around and you just keep it in and just keep pulling out your hair a little bit so
So this is the finished look. Um, as you can see, I've just quickly went through. It just looks like I've had like rollers in a little bit. Um, I've just put some hoops in. You know what they say, bigger the hoop. Um, I love this look. It's dead, dead easy to do. Um, it doesn't take us very long at all. Um, but yeah, so this is... Um, I really hope you did enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy filming this. I've never done like a makeup video or anything like that before, um, but it was lots of fun. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. Um, subscribe, comment, like, all of that jazz. Um, it really does um, make a difference to my channel. Um, if you want to see any more videos like this, any um, like hair tutorials, um, any makeup tutorials, nothing too complicated because I'm not that good at makeup. Um, but yeah, anything at all, please um, send us a message or leave us a comment. Um, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!